Hey everyone, um, my opponent today is Strife. Um, he is playing his uh, TXP qualifying match versus me, and um, I was the one who referred him because I think he's he's a quite a good player. He's um, I think around rank 50 or something. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a post comment here. This match uh, is a little bit older. I somehow didn't get to upload it yet, and um, I want to do a, a commentary on it as well. So, we're on police station, I start second on the back, and do some audio scouting here. So here I hear the grapple to the roof, and I'm thinking, okay, that's one grapple, and I'm thinking if there's, um, if there isn't another grapple, um, which would mean, of course, that he has two units on the roof, um, then I will punish that, or at least check and see if I can punish it with my Recon and the skeleton suit. Because the way um, I have positioned him in the lobby, um, I put him on the last uh, slot. Um, that way, if I spawn on the back of police station, I um, can grapple up um, to the roof in the first move, like that. So I'm checking if I can, and I'm thinking, yeah, why not? Here's only one unit up there. But I did a little mistake. Um, and my audio scouting and I didn't scout his um, two thin men there jumping up the roof so um, I see he has an alloy recon and skeleton suit basically the same as mine um, and I'm thinking okay go go ahead let's fuck that um, I don't really want my recon anymore with two thin men on this map I'm poisoned all the time that's why I go for the trade. Because the thing is, um, the trade actually works in my favor. Because um, he's my only unit that is uh, speckled to his um, double poison. So um, by taking the trade, um, I'm removing the threat of his alloy cannon and this run and gun. Um, and also gain the advantage that, that his two thin men are quite um, useless against the rest of my of my team. I mean, okay, the sector it can be poisoned, but the smoke jumpers and the medics they all have uh, med kits and they're quite safe. Of course, um, he could camp on the roof with his med with his uh, thin man and force a stalemate. I have no way to get up there now when my uh, recon dies but um, yeah I just thought he wouldn't do that in this um, qualifying match so he doesn't get the crit only does 6 damage and um, now something uh, pretty spectacular happened which I didn't expect to move the thin man there and you see that my shield is um, went from, from yellow to um, blue and he misses the shot so I don't know if this was a flanking bar, maybe? Um, I forgot to ask him. But yeah, of course this is, this is a huge thing. That Regan should have been dead. Um, I was going for the trade. Now I can retreat that Regan. And um, I have a huge, huge advantage at this point. Here's no other unit that can come up the roof and finish off my unit there. So, um, yeah, actually, this is the point where the game is already won. And I think I will just um, leave the rest of the match without commentary. Um, I offered to, to him that we can play this match again from the point on where his thin man shot at my recon 
so that they hit this time and we see the outcome of um, what it would have been. So yeah, like I said here, yeah, I'm healing my units back up. Um, it's gonna be a pretty pretty easy match for me now.
Oh. 